introduce them on the panel uh, today, on our program today. Joining us is P.K. D. Nambiar, political analyst, a fan of the Prime Minister. Uh, but I wonder how he sees the BGP's chances in the state of Telangana. Also joining us is Sri Ram Kari, senior journalist on the ground. He's a resident editor at the Deccan Chronicle. Good to see you, Sri Ram. And also joining us is our favorite uh, political pundit and sipologist, Yashwan Deshmukh, who, of course, leads a C voter. Uh, welcome, gentlemen. And Nambiar. before I actually... At least I never thought the Barkha that uh, uh, BJP is going to form a government in Karnataka, uh, I mean uh, in Telangana. The reason being, it is it has, even though it has always got uh, some amount of pockets where they are very very strong, they always have got uh, some of the MPs not from today from so long. But uh, it, the the fact of the matter is that BJP is uh, even discussed as serious as Congress and PRS itself is an achievement for the BJP. Now we are talking of when did we, uh, we, uh, the BJP became one of the major player or the, giving that kind of an image that yes, they could maybe come back and rule the state is after the Hyderabad municipality election. The rural area, wherever uh, when we divide the Hindus in the form of uh, Kamma, Reddy and all those kind of uh, stuff, the BJP was not that strong. There may be the, the 36 percent of the Telangana, uh, even in the uh, sea water, is saying that uh, the, they like uh, Prime Minister Modi. In yes. fact, today, if, if, if at all, if there is a doubt for anybody is having that, oh yes, there is maybe a possibility that BRS and BJP might come together. Just a uh, few minutes ago or a few hours ago, uh, Prime Minister has very clearly said that uh, I, I uh, uh, the BRS or the KCR went uh, and requested for his position but, uh, to, to join the NDA, but he refused and he will never be a part of us. I think the prime minister is saying and very crystal clear that yes, the, the, the BRS will not be a part of NDA and BRS and uh, BJP will never come together. So I think yeah. once that kind of a statement has put up, so that question of they will come together later on may not exist as of now well there's no such thing as there's no such thing as never in politics i don't believe any politician when they say we will not come together even the prime minister with great respect I, because I, right I, now right now I, he's not I, campaigning as the prime minister he's campaigning as narendra modi the leader of the bjp also BJP. Right? so i'm yes. saying that even uh, I'm, I'm, i absolutely agree with you the beauty is that if bjp uh, get about 15 20 seats which it may if it gets, then the overall ball game will be whatever we are discussing. Even what Eshwanji was talking about, that the, the Congress has come up very well. Congress has come up very well, not because of the Bharat Jodo Yatra. It's also because of the DK Shivkumar and the fund is flowing like anything for Congress. Generally, there is a lot of issues Congress do have because they are not in uh, ruling. So there is a fund issue. But in this case, was well, smartly they have placed. Uh, D.K. Shivakumar as the in-charge for the Congress and they now know that there is no issue for the funds. So I think there is uh, well marketed. Uh, Congress has done a good job. BJP is also doing a very, very good job and uh, changing Bandi Sanjay in the uh, uh, particular time was may not be a good decision from the point of view of all of us, but from the party point of view, they would have their own strategy in place. They may have okay. a solid reason in between if they had to change. I, the, let me come. It's a very interesting reversal, PKD. Yeah, that's true. There, there, there are places like if I would rather say in this level, if Telangana goes the Congress way, it may be the South versus North. It will have an impact. There is no other state, whether it is Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Rajasthan will not have any national impact when it comes to the national election. But for the south of India, it will definitely have an impact if it goes to the Congress way. Because Karnataka, then Telang um, I mean Telangana, then Kerala, they might get it. And or uh, there is an, uh, in Tamil Nadu, they already are together, both Congress and uh, so there will be a north and south divide. The very, Congress very is, important, very important. It will really be north versus south politics. Yeah, but I am afraid that uh, BRS will, uh, I mean, will not go the way we are all thinking, and there will be a sweep of, you know, of uh, Evan Reddy or the Congress. That's not going to. Uh, we all know that KCR is a master politician. He has been doing 
from the last one and a half years he has made so much of news in every possible way they have also uh, the only thing which is going against uh, the ksr is that they the public at the ground feels that ktr is going to be the new chief minister and not the ksr they don't have that kind of an affection to ktr the son because he he may be uh, doing good for himself as a, as a minister or as the leader but ksr has been as uh, shriram was talking about that he is more of like a father of uh, the, the telangana there may be a some amount of special okay. love for him that is the reason he still that gets shri, shri ram is a shri ram it will be literally a horizontal divide absolutely there will be uh, because i as you said rahul gandhi was not campaigning in uh, himachal pradesh he, rahul gandhi was not campaigning enough in many other places but he did a little bit in uh, in karnataka but this time around in telangana he is campaigning very very uh, both uh, the the sister and brother is campaigning too much because they feel that yes south is an intellectual hub for from the indian perspective uh, south has got uh, better infrastructure better education in every aspect it is a very progressive side of india and if we have a command over there as a political party it will have slowly a reflection on the north as well if not north completely for an example in uh, many other states uh, it will have an impact so but i am not uh, uh, going by the both ashwanti and shriram this time around it will be a hung assembly predominantly wherein bjp will be the one who will decide the government who will be in the so in the so you so you you think the bjp is going to be the king maker shriram is holding his head uh, shriram, uh, okay but shriram i'll tell you you don't make more uh, you don't have to be sarcastic but one thing one thing i'll tell you why i said internal uh, mapping of bjp as far as i know is 25 seats they will get if 20 out of 25 if not 25 even if it is 15 seats and both the other parties are contesting very well as all of us are saying then who will be the king maker okay okay i think i think there's a fair question there well this is something which we are not hearing it for the first time even in yeah. uh, whatever am mim is going as contesting elections they say that it's a bjp is b team and uh, whereas uh, uh, i don't know whether is there anybody else in this country who is uh, every day talks anti bjp mantra that is uh, mr obc so i don't think that there is a, there is no power maybe of course in uh, telangana definitely uh, oic has got enough uh, hold on to the muslim votes but the rest of the country he do not have he may be able to pull up some votes and uh, i i also wanted to ask you maybe ashwati you can correct it that the uh, it's only 7% of the vote is muslims in uh, telangana am i right and to me it is only 6.7 percentage or something like that is the muslim vote and that is that is also so there are two aspects we are divided there is a rural areas bjp may not have that kind of a hold whereas both the brs and uh, the bjp do have a very very solid uh, grounding on the urban waters so i think yeah. there is also a divide between the rural and urban and the, the entire state is going to behave in the similar fashion i don't think so because it is different constituencies hyderabad of course uh, the oic will have the 7 to 8 guaranteed seats for himself so uh, the, the bottom line is that so everything we can say that we are we are only predicting and discussing and debating it's not like something yeah. like uh, okay, sure. of, no fair of, enough you want to see the same thing what we are thinking even today of course shiram before i give yashwant 